I just got here to Visalia. You can see there's quite a bit of uh, fog in the air. So we'll see if we can get this flight off or not. Since the last time you flew it, we removed the engine for an oil leak. We found that the hex drive for the magneto was a little, little bit uh, loose, too much clearance in it. So we, we replaced the hex drive and the magneto. We replaced a couple of the um, capacitors in there. Then we took the uh, accessory drive off. We uh, inspected the hole inside. Uh, we put the, the drive back on and retimed the magneto. Uh, so we uh, essentially had, with the exception of the uh, leak in the oil pan, that's about what we did to the engine. Okay. okay. All right, master's on. Boost pump on. Pressure lights out. Boost pump's off. Clear. thing we did uh, we took all of the hydraulic cylinders out correct and rebuilt them primarily because uh, there was some bypass leakage the, all of the o-rings and, and um, all of the cylinders the tail wheel both main forks uh, and, and the, the inner gear doors, doors were, were all replaced uh, it holds pressure really well now yeah. took the landing gear forks off, which were aluminum. Uh, we replaced them with um, forged steel forks, uh, Thunder Mustang type forks. 
Here's the original forks that we had taken off and replaced. And as you can see, they're quite a bit bigger than the steel Thunder Mustang forks, but there were some voids in the aluminum in the casting. And we wanted so these were replaced see. because of because failures of with other Stuart Mustangs? Correct. Where were they failing, do you know? They were failing up in here, correct, Rod? And down here as well? Primarily, they were cracking here and here. And uh, we took the uh, stock wheels and brakes off and replaced those with a Behringer uh, system. So this is our gear fork mod that we had made with our Green Thunder Mustang gear forks. And as you can see, we got a new rim. It's a Behringer uh, rim with a tubeless tire, free floating rotors, and Behringer brake caliper if you want to get up in here and take a look at that. This particular stainless item here is the bracket we had to use that mounts our rotor to it and also has our uplock in it. This is the tombstone I had talked about that we had to weld to it after we got it positioned properly. And then some of the teardown, we had to take the fork off the strut. So at that point, we rebuilt the struts, put in new O-rings, new fluid, and nitrogen as well. And the other benefit behind this is we had 10 flights on the airplane before. Yeah. We changed them and the pads were worn down pretty much to their minimum or starting to come apart. So Especially on the right wheel. Yep. Really? These, yeah. uh, these Behringer brakes are gonna be a, a big improvement over the or that kind of stuff. So uh, any issue we had, we, we essentially addressed. And uh, so it's actually in better condition than the last time you flew it. Fantastic. Fantastic.